This is Paul Tursley with a demo of Open Sesame Server. This provides a fully automated API based solution for project customization, versioning, and rendering using either the JSON API or regular text files that you can edit in a spreadsheet. You can set up any number of project templates and change many things, including text, footage, property values, layer switches, and render queue items. Changes are made by submitting a text file to a watch folder whether that's across a network, from a mobile device, database or web app. It creates detailed log files, has built-in error handling, it can automatically restart and continue rendering or send alerts in case of any failures. You can have multiple computers running Open Sesame Server to process and render submissions simultaneously or have one computer modify the projects and save them for processing on a render farm. It's compatible with the After Effects render engine, so you can easily set up a render farm to generate high volumes of content on demand. So here's the basic workflow that we'll be looking at in this tutorial. First, you use Open Sesame to set up a project template, selecting the parts you want to be editable. Then, export from Open Sesame as either a JSON or tab or comma separated text file. Next, read the JSON file into a web app, generate a web form or link to a database, or open the tab or comma separated text file into a spreadsheet app like Excel. Launch Open Sesame Server and set it to monitor a watch folder. Then you can submit text files containing any changes to the watch folder to be processed and either rendered or handed off to a render farm. So in this demo we're going to be using a project template from freeaetemplates.com called Photo Reflections. It's a kind of photo slideshow project. Okay, so we'll start by opening that project in After Effects. And you'll see here that I've already replaced the photos with some of my own, but the text is still placeholder text. Okay, so I've already installed the scripts in the After Effects scripts folder. I recommend installing them here rather than the script UI panels folder. And we need two scripts. So Open Sesame is used to set up your templates and select the parts of your project that you want to be editable. Then Open Sesame Server is for running the watch folder mode and processing and rendering submissions. So let's start with Open Sesame and we'll check export editable values and click show edit list so the edit list is where you add the parts of your project that you want to be editable now in this first example we're just going to do all the text so i'm just going to click the all text button to add all the text in the project so before exporting let's have a quick look at the preferences so here we have export editable as and we have the format options so we can export as tab separated text files comma separated or javascript object notation or json now the first two are what you would use if you were going to be editing these files in a text editor or spreadsheet while json uh, this format makes it easy to have a web app interact with after effects now due to how after effects works this doesn't use the normal rest api but instead works by submitting text files to the open sesame watch folder so let's select JSON and let's do an export just so we can have a quick look at it. I've already created a renders and watch folder, so we're going to save this into the watch folder. And you can see it's created a new copy of the project along with this uh, values file. So we'll open that in a text editor. This is what the JSON format looks like. Now, like I said, this is made mainly so that you can create web apps to uh, read and modify these values but for this demo we're instead going to use the tab separated format and make these changes in Excel now before I export we also need to add a render queue item so open sesame server is all about project revision and rendering so we need at least one render setup and you don't need to add render items to the edit list any queued render items will automatically be exported so let's export this again and 
And so this is what it looks like when opened in a text editor. There's a different line for each item and each setting is separated by a tab. So this is even easier to edit in a spreadsheet. So I'll open this in Excel and here everything comes in in separate columns. So we'll take a quick look at this. On the first line we have the name of the project that this is associated with. Then we have information that Open Sesame needs to locate the layers in the project. Then we have reference, which tells you the composition and layer name. And finally here we have the editable text values. Now, text values are unique in Open Sesame in that all other settings are contained in a single cell. So you have the heading and then a colon and finally the setting. Whereas text values, the actual text itself is split into a second cell and it was done this way to make it easier to edit the text or copy and paste in blocks of text. Now next we have a render line so this is uh, the final HD render and it's got the start time and duration and then we have an output module line which contains the output module template lossless and the render path. So let's change some stuff here. So I've already created some text. Now the photos in the project are from Colorado. So I've got this Colorado text I'm going to paste in. And I'm going to change the render name to include Colorado. OK, now before we submit this, uh, let's move the original values file out of here and return to After Effects and close Open Sesame uh, and run Open Sesame Server. Now, as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's just this Start Watch folder. Let's have a look at the preferences. So, in here we have Import, Favor, Absolute, or Relative Footage Paths. So you can choose to export both. Uh, in which case this option will tell it which one, if both are present, which one to try first. Uh, then you can set a watch folder location. Uh, this says to use that watch folder location or to always ask to select a watch folder. So let's select that. Uh, start watch mode automatically on script launch. So when this is checked, then when Open Sesame Server launches, it will automatically start running in watch mode, assuming you've already set up a watch folder in advance. Now this can be useful because if you install Open Sesame Server in the After Effects Scripts Startup folder, then it will automatically run when After Effects is launched. And with that option checked, it will automatically start running in watch mode. So you could remotely launch After Effects through a terminal command or even you could set After Effects to automatically launch when the computer was booted. So then, for example, in the event of a power failure, when the computer restarts, it would launch After Effects. After Effects would launch Open Sesame Server and it would start running in watch mode without any human intervention. So that's that setting. Then we have a render folder. This is like a backup render folder. So then we have some error handling. So for example, abort render if any output paths aren't valid. Output to render folder if output paths aren't valid. So if there's a problem with the folder names, folder structure of the render path, then it will instead render to this backup render folder. Or you can override the output paths, ignore them and say always output to this render folder. folder. Then we can say uh, bought render if there are errors or attempt to render despite import errors. The log folder is automatically created in the watch folder by default but you can choose a different location for that. Uh, then we have move process text files to, to log folder. So by default when Open Sesame Server starts processing a text file it will move it to the log folder. Now this isn't essential because it will keep a record of the names and creation dates of the files it's processed so it won't process them again but moving them keeps things tidy and also if you had multiple machines all watching the same watch folder then you would want to move them to ensure that 
but after one's finished processing the text file that the others don't also try and process it so uh, then we have email alerts so if you configure this you can have it set to uh, send an email alert on each import that's processed or just if there are errors so let's um, start this so I'm going to hit start watch folder and so now open sesame server will sit and monitor this watch folder 24 7 waiting for a text values file to appear in it and it needs to be placed into the same folder as the project template that it's associated with so this project in this case uh, open sesame server will scan one subfolder deep into the watch folder so you can either put all your templates in the main watch folder and submit your text files into them or you can split your templates into different subfolders and submit your text files into those uh, and also it will scan the watch folder in alphanumeric order so you can use that to your advantage through uh, file and folder naming to set certain templates that have a higher priority or even just set particular text file submissions to have a higher priority so even if you had a big uh, list of already queued text files in there by uh, using a different file name you could add a new text file submission that would jump to the top of the queue so let's go back to Excel and we'll do file save as and save this as Colorado now the file name and extension of this isn't important this text file contains the name of the project it's associated with so that's the important thing the actual name of the uh, text file submission isn't important the only exception to this is the JSON format which needs to have the extension .json so uh, we've got tab delimited text selected so we'll save that so if we return to After Effects we'll see that it's seen that text file opened the project made the changes and started rendering so we can see here that it says Final HD Colorado so it's applied that uh, unfortunately this is going to take some time to render so um, yeah we're gonna to have to do something about that so while that's rendering though we'll have a look at what's happened in the watch folder so firstly the text file that we submitted has been moved there's now this open sesame logs folder and in a time stamped folder there is the text file that we submitted and then this logs folder uh, logs file and in this it has the name of the computer that's processing it the name of the file text file that was imported the output paths and render settings and the render progress so this log file is continuously updated so you can query it to check on the render progress then back in the main watch folder we see that there's this additional file with the name of the text file submission plus dot tmp so this temp file has a number of uses firstly it just contains the name of the computer that is processing it so you can use that as reference uh, secondly it ensures that uh, in the time between open sesame server starting to read the text values file and moving it to the log folder uh, or in the case where you don't move it to the log folder it basically ensures that no other computers running open sesame server and monitoring the watch folder will attempt to also process this um, particular submission and one final use for it is that you can use it to remotely abort a render so this render is going to take ages so let's just move this to the trash and you will see that the render aborts if we have a look in the log then it says here temp file was deleted aborting render so okay so let's go back to the Excel file and try and speed this up so firstly we're going to change the duration from 30 down to four seconds so I'm just going to render the first four seconds uh, and then also um, 
So the render setting will automatically use the default render setting, which uh, is what is selected in the templates render settings. And you can see here movie default best settings. So best quality, full resolution. Uh, but I've also set up in advance this quarter template, render setting template, which uses quarter resolution. And so I am going to use that instead. So I'm going to change render settings to quarter. OK, so let's just save that again and go back to After Effects. So it's found that text file, opened the project, made the changes and is now rendering a lot faster. So we can see here it's using the quarter render setting and it's only rendering the first four seconds. So now it's a lot easier to see that it has hopefully changed the name, changed the text. There we go. So it's replaced the placeholder text. OK, so this gives you an overview of the process from um, preparing your template project to uh, setting up the watch folder and submitting a template for processing and rendering. We'll go and have a look in the render folder. So there's the render. Also note that it has overwritten the uh, previously aborted render. Um, renders uh, overwrite any previous renders with the same name uh, without warning. So be aware of that. OK, so there's our change video. So next we're going to look a bit deeper in the type of things that you can edit in a project. So I'm going to close Open Sesame Server and reopen Open Sesame. I'm going to return to the original template project. So at the moment we're looking at a modified project. So it's always better to go back to the it in its kind of default state. So we'll open that. And so a nice thing about the edit list is when you add items to the edit list they are flagged in the comments in the project so if you return to the template later you can click the load list button and it will scan through the project and repopulate the list with any items you previously added to the edit list so we've got all our text layers back let's also add all footage so that would be the photos then um, let's say we might want to change which comp is being rendered. So at the moment we're rendering this final HD comp, but there's also final SD anamorphic and final SD center. So um, we can select those. So we can either select one or more items in the project panel and hit add selected items. So that's now appeared here. Or you can select an enclosing folder and click Add Selected Items. So now we have all of those compositions in the edit list. Now, what else? So um, we might want to change the theme of this. So in this case, the, the color scheme that's used. So uh, I'm going to show you a few different ways of doing this. So in After Effects, there are often many different ways of doing the same thing. And with Open Sesame Server, this is also the case. So I'm going to show you a few different ways we might go about changing the uh, theme in the template. So I've set up this blue control comp, which just contains a solid blue layer. And this is what's being used to control the color theme. So on this, I've applied a color balance effect. And so if we were to change the hue we could change the color scheme so I'll just reveal this in the timeline and select hue 
select the hue property and click add selected items and now that effect property value has been added to the edit list so you can select most property values uh, things like position and scale rotation and effect property values and add them to the edit list as well um, but another way we might do this is I've created this color choice comp so in here uh, I've created three different pre comps with three different color themes so you might have a template where you want to change a theme by simply turning on or off certain layers so uh, in this case what we could do is we could select all three layers and add them to the edit list and then set two to off and one to on but equally we could just add one layer and then in the edit list uh, in the text file change the layer index so change the layer number to change a different layer so in that case we would turn all the layers off and then we would just have one line in the edit list and by changing which layer that referred to we would change one of these three layers on so I'm just going to select this layer and I'm going to hit selected items and add that layer to the edit list and then one final way we could do it is that in After Effects you can replace a layer's footage with either a different pre-comp or a different footage item by holding down the alt key and dragging the new layer the new footage or pre-comp onto it so we can also do that in open sesame server so in that case we would want to have the compositions as reference so we're going to select these three compositions and click add selected items and now we also have those three compositions in the edit list anyway that is everything uh, I just need to so I'm going to turn off that layer first before we export this and okay so well in the final comp it's now blank because we've turned that layer off but we're going to turn it on when we uh, using the edit list so uh, I was going to sort this by type uh, the order that things appear in the edit list is the order that they're exported to the text files so keep things nice and neat now for text this time instead of um, just exporting the text we're going to export text styles as well um, so uh, these settings let you choose which kind of uh, fine-tune which settings are exported uh, for layers you can also export in and out points uh, for values you can also export expressions and footage absolute or absolute and relative paths so we're going to do text styles and we will export this again so now let's go back and um, we'll close down that original one open this new values file in Excel so you see we have a lot more information here we have for footage we now have the footage paths we have these um, compositions now compositions don't have any editable values but they are included because of this comp ID this numeric reference and these are used in a number of ways so for example if we looked at the render line down here it says comp ID 770 and so that is telling it to render comp 770 which is the final HD comp uh, then again this layer so we exported layer layer 3 from the color choice comp the layer which was a pre comp comp 4 blue now that footage ID is 61 and again if we look back here we can see the ID for comp 4 blue is 61 so then for the text we have additionally we now have font font size and fill color uh, and we have this hue property this property value hue which is set to zero so let's change some of the things that we changed last time so we changed the duration to four we changed the render setting to quarter 
we added Colorado to the render name. So we're going to do another Colorado one. Um, paste in that text. Okay, so now with most things in the um, editable section, if you don't need to change them, then you can delete them. So in this case, we're going to change the font, but we don't need to change font size or fill color, so we can get rid of those. Uh, likewise, down here for like start time and duration, if you t remove those, then it would use the work area times in the composition. Um, now, okay, let's say we definitely want to turn the video back on for this layer, so the layer three in the color choice comp, so we need to set video to one. Then let's change the font. So change the font of the text. So I'm just going to select these and do a find and replace. And I'm going to replace that with something a bit tacky. I'm going to use marker belt thin. Now you need to know the exact font name. So what you might want to do if you're going to be doing this is to create a bunch of different text layers with different fonts in After Effects, export them through Open Sesame and read off the font names that way. So I'll replace all of those. Then, so this time we are going to change the color scheme by changing this hue property value. So it's currently zero, so we're going to change that to 240, which I happen to know is going to make it green. Okay, so I think that is everything. So um, again, before we start the watch mode, we're going to remove this values file out of the watch folder. Go back to Open Sesame and um, After Effects, close Open Sesame and launch Open Sesame Server and start that running in watch mode. Then, so back to Excel, and we're going to save this. Save as Colorado. Okay, so we'll go back and have a look at After Effects. And it's seen that text file opened the project and made the changes. So we can see we now have a green color theme. And the it's changed the text and changed the font and of course changed the render setting name to render output to Colorado okay so let's do another one so next let's do New York so we'll paste in the New York text um, that's just about the render, so we might as well have a quick look at that. So render, that's our new Colorado video. Okay, so we're going to do, now for the footage, I've sw set up the footage, so I have three different folders, but I've made it so that all the photos have the same file names. So all I need to do to change the footage is change this folder in the footage path. So. Um, and similarly, I just want to change Colorado in the render path to uh, so to New York. So I'm just going to select all of those and do a find and replace Colorado, New York. Okay, so what else are we going to do? So this time, so we're going to set that um, hue value back to zero. So we're not going to change it that way. Let's change it instead by changing the footage ID. So it's still going to be layer 3, which currently is the comp4 blue pre-comp. But we're actually going to switch out the, the pre-comp being used on layer 3. So we're going to change the footage ID. So we can see the footage ID for comp4 orange is 2364. So if I just change that to 2364. That will now swap out the footage so it will still turn on layer 3 but it will also change 
layer three. So it's now the comp four orange pre comp. Um, okay, so what else can we do? Um, well, we could add a second output module, for example. So each render line, each render line needs at least one subsequent output module line, but we can easily add more. So if I just copy and paste one down. So let's change this. So let's make this an H264. So I've already set up a out, another output module template. Look in uh, output modules. You can see I've already set up at H264. So anything you use for an output module template needs to have been set up on that particular um, machine uh, version of After Effects that is running Open Sesame in advance. So we set that to H264 and we'll just change the file output file name to reflect that too. Okay, so and let's just save this. So save as okay. And we'll go back to After Effects. You can see it's already seen that. Um, text file, open the project, made the changes. We now have this orange theme. Uh, we have two output modules. One is using the H264 template. And of course we have the New York photos and New York text. Let's have a quick look at that. So there we have our two outputs, one in the H264 codec. Okay, next let's, um, oh, let's have a quick look at, so if we just look in the color choice comp, we can see that yes, layer three is turned on, but layer three is now comp four orange. So. Open Sesame Server replaced the source of this comp, this layer, with the comp4 orange pre comp. Okay, so let's go back to Excel and we'll do another one. So we have Japan. So let's paste that in and we'll do a search and replace. New York with Japan. Okay, and so this time, so we're not going to change the footage ID this time. We are, we're going to change which layer it turns back on. So we've already done, so we've done blue. We've done orange, so th the middle one is yellow, so that would be layer two. So now in this case, we want to delete this footage ID completely because we don't want it to replace the footage source. So we can get rid of that. Um, but what we want instead want to do is change which layer we're going to turn on. So we'll now tell this to turn on layer two. So if you remember, we turned off all three layers when we exported the template. So now it's just going to find layer two and it's going to turn video on. Now, another thing, let's change the comp that is rendered. So at the moment we're rendering the final HD comp, which is comp ID 770. But let's change that to render the final SD anamorphic comp. So that would be 794 so let's just paste that in there so we've essentially told open sesame server to render a different comp completely then uh, one so one other thing is i can see from this text that this text is going to be far too long to fit and so i'm going to use this to show uh, one of the ways you can format text and
and there are a number of ways you can format text which is covered in the PDF but uh, this shows how you can have Open Sesame Server auto scale the text to fit so we know this is on text to comp so I'm just going to go back to the I'm going to open the original template and open the text to comp now so we need to know the maximum width for the text in here and so a handy way of doing that is if you create a new null uh, a null is a hundred pixels square so if you read the scale and scale out the layer handles and I can read off of width and pixels uh, so we, we can see it's about 1700 is the value that we don't want the text to be bigger than so the way to enable this auto formatting is simply to rename the text layer width space 1700 um, now this will just scale down the text and it will only scale the width not the height uh, and it will just scale down text if it's too wide it won't scale up text if it's too uh, if it's too small uh, so it will scale down the width of text to fit the maximum size if it was otherwise too big the other option is fit and that will do the same thing except that it will also scale the height in the same proportions as it scales the width but we're going to use width here now because I haven't made any fundamental changes to this template project I've not reordered any layers or anything uh, I can simply save over top of the template project and this just by having this layer renamed has now enabled the uh, auto scaling so I'm going to create a new project just again so it's clear that it's um, opening that template project and then making changes. And I'm going to return to Excel and I'm going to save this. Just check I've got everything done. Yeah, so I'm going to save this as Japan. Um, then back to After Effects, you can see it's seen that text file. Open the project. Now we can see it's it's rendering the SD anamorphic comp. It's applied the Japanese photos. Uh, we have the yellow color scheme, so it's correctly turned on the right layer. Um, and hopefully in a second we will see that it has scaled the text to fit yes so you can see it scaled down the width of the text so it fits uh, okay that's perfect And if we have a look in the color choice comp, you can see that that layer two has been turned on. And so that is how we have the uh, yellow color scheme. And like I said, it rendered out the, rather than rendering the final HD comp, it's rendered the final SD anamorphic comp. So we can have a quick look at that here. But uh, you'll notice the resolution looks pretty poor because of course this is the standard def output at quarter resolution as well. Um, okay, so that gives you a pretty thorough overview. There's still a lot more things that you can do, uh, but this gives you a kind of good sense of uh, a variety of ways you can change a project. Now, the next thing we're going to look at finally is up till now we have been having Open Sesame Server process and render these um, text file submissions. But next we're going to have a look at how you just have it process the projects and save them off to be rendered on a render farm. So we are going to, let's close down 
that and let's move, delete the renders and open up the log folder and so we want to take the last three things that we submitted and we're going to edit these so I'm going to open one of these in Excel and now we've not talked about this options line but this gives you additional options for rendering so firstly we have render project true so in this case we want to set that to false then we have save project off well now we want to change that to to log folder now the other option is to path and if you set it to to path then you also need to add the path and name for what you want the uh, altered After Effects project where you want it to be saved uh, now just those two settings render project false and save project will not render but will simply apply the changes to the template project and then save a new copy but if you want to use this with the After Effects render engine then you also need it to create a thing called a render control file which the After Effects is built in watch folder needs so the render control setting needs to be set to a value higher than zero and if you were rendering an image sequence then you could set this for example you set this to five and then five different machines on your render farm would all pick up this project and render different frames of the image sequence but as we're rendering video then that isn't applicable so we might as well set it to one um, okay so I'm just going to now copy those three and save and I'm just going to apply those to the other two text values file okay and then I'm going to copy these and return to the watch folder and just paste them in so now if we go back to After Effects uh, it's going to so it's seen the first one imported it made the change saved the project it's opening the second one making the change saving the project uh, so as you can see uh, Open Sesame Server run this way can get through these text submissions incredibly fast and um, so that's everything done and ideally I would have like a render farm sitting here so that uh, you know you could see those submissions all have started being rendering but unfortunately I don't so uh, we will have to simulate that so first let's have a look in the uh, open sesame logs which is where we had these be saved so um, you can see these three new submissions and in here we have an After Effects project and a render control file so this is what the render engine needs in order to process this using its watch folder so if I was to stop Open Sesame Server now and run After Effects is built in watch folder and point it at the Open Sesame logs then it should pick up each of those um, exported altered projects and start rendering them so there we see it's doing the Colorado one now so let's have a look in the renders folder so the Colorado one has started rendering and then hopefully we'll see it will go through and do the New York and Japan one as well so this shows how uh, you can set up Open Sesame Server to work with a render farm and the After Effects render engine which can run the watch folder um, the After Effects <coughs> built-in watch folder the render engine is has an unlimited license so you could set up a render farm of any size for no additional cost beyond your original uh, After Effects license so okay so Colorado's done Japan is processing 
So there's so much more to Open Sesame Server than this, uh, and it comes with a very detailed PDF guide, which there will also be a link on the Open Sesame Server page, so you can download it from there too. Okay, so that's, uh, that's Japan done, and we should see. So the resolution looks poor because, of course, this was the standard def render uh, rendered at quarter res. Okay, so it's finally going through and doing New York. So. Um, that's the end of this demo, so thanks for watching.